There are times when you want to able to store the shape of your work and memory and then make changes and be able to come back to that shape again. You can do this with morph targets. So let's see how it works. For the sake of this uh, tutorial, this lesson, let me merge all of these here together. So I will go back in the merge option here and I will just press merge, uh, you know, down. and. Or just let me go up here and merge down here as well. Or, you know, just in the beginning, I pressed the merge visible. So it's uh, already made this one for me. But, you know, uh, I'll just work with this one because uh, there's some issues here, which I don't uh, want to go in. But now everything is merged in. So what I can do last is that control D a couple of times to increase the subdivision level here. So you can see quite high subdivision level is here. And that's um, that's not necessary, but just for the sake of this tutorial, I'm doing that. Now, one thing over here is that before doing any changes, I will go to option here, which is called morph target. So if I will go to the morph targets here, and at this stage, I will press store empty, which is store morph target. And what it will do is that it will take my existing, the current state of the fish and convert this into a morph, okay, and store it, okay. So I will click on it and you can only uh, use one morph target at a time. You can store one morph target at a time. You cannot use multiple. Now, once I'm done, let's do and apply some changes. So I will bring up my move tool bmv and i will give some of the changes over here uh, say for example if i will change my push size here and i will do some changes like i will move this fin here quite up high okay and then i will go back here do some changes here at this stage and some weird looking changes here okay move this head of the fish down and i have changed entirely the whole thing and also maybe the tail a bit changes here now for example if your art director comes and he sees your model and he say okay you have done this thing but i don't like it i like the one uh, how it was before so I like the original one, but I don't like this one So simple what you will do is that you will just go back to your morph target click on switch So when you will click on switch it will bring back what it was before But if your director says okay those changes which you did uh, which you have done were fine But they were too harsh. So in this case what you will do if you will, uh, if I will switch it back, it will go back to what I have done. Okay, so you can switch back and forth to what was before and what you have done. So now, if I will go over here and if I want to reduce this change here, okay, like my director wants this, but he says it's too harsh. In this case, what I will do is that I will go to the morph option over here and I will start reducing this value. Or increase uh, sorry increasing this value. So when I'm increasing this value here, can cranking this up. So when I'm cranking this up, it just start uh, it will start bringing up my original one. Now maybe you will be start showing this to your boss like okay I'm cranking this up. Just take a look at it. And now your boss will say okay stop it there. This is something uh, that is fine. So you will just stop at that stage and it will be uh, you can say. Uh, locked in now if i will increase this more so it will go back to the original state and then if i will stop here so you can see now everything is stored now i cannot go more further because it is locked now if i want what it was uh, before like the changes as it was before i can go uh, like you know negative value here 
but as you can see it is locked so i cannot bring anything back here and if i will press switch nothing will be happening so at this case, uh, stage what i will do is that i will just undo it so it will bring me where i was before now to avoid what happened just now it's always better to go to the switch and then start changing this like if i if you want to show it to your boss you can go to the negative value or positive value to show now if you will just crank this up and you will show this to your boss and he will say okay just stop at this level and you will stop at that level okay or if you have uh, if you are already here and your boss says uh, let me switch it back and lo let's go back to my changes which i have done if your boss see this and he says okay what you have done is really good can you increase this or you can double this up so it's quite interesting here what you can do is that if you will increase uh, at this stage your morph okay uh, like you know if you if you will uh, decrease the value here so what it will do is that it will start bringing it will start increasing that morph that you have done so by decreasing the value here it will be increasing the morph that you have done and increasing the morph will start decreasing the exaggeration or the changes you have done so it's a little bit opposite in this uh, at this stage right now but if you will switch this to original one then the story will be a little different so you can go back here or you can go back here i think going negative uh maybe not give you uh, you know a kind of result that you want because it totally deforms your object here so either you go just like this so what it will do it will lock this change and you can only go uh, you know uh, you will always stay over here so you cannot switch back so it's better to uh, stay in at one storage level and then you can start switching that otherwise if it locks your value so you cannot uh, go back so only thing uh, left will be to undo that so whenever you want to change make sure you are uh, doing on the right morph target level so now there's uh, one more way to use this and that's pretty common and that is uh, what is called a brush a morph brush so let's see how the morph brush works so to get the morph brush i will press b m o now suppose i want to bring my original state over here but not on the whole body maybe on the tail so i will be on this morph target okay on this switch level so i will just go here and start brushing with the morph target here now what it will do is that depending on the intensity maybe let me in increase the intensity higher i will paint here and then it will start bringing that back in so uh let me undo that let's go back to the intensity level 25 and then start painting on the tail and as soon as i'm doing that you can see that it's trying to bring my original one back and you can see that if i have painted all the way on my tail now my all the whole original tail is there but if i will keep on painting that one you can see that it is trying to bring the whole thing 100% back as it was before now this can be other way around for example if i will undo this the whole thing what i have done so far right now and oops okay now let's go back to the change now for example if i am not on this switch level of the morph target if i will click here on the switch and i i'm on the original one and i want to bring the change which i did but not on the whole fish but only on the tail or maybe on the face or maybe on the top pin let's do on the top pin this time so i want to bring the change only on the top pin not on the whole fish so i can go on the top pin here and start painting over here and you can see that it is bringing 
all that change which I have done in my uh, st and I stored in my morph target. So I uh, so I hope uh, this is understandable and you have um, uh, understood about the whole thing about this morph target. If you just want uh, you know the details. Uh, so what we can do, we can just put everything aside. You can sort out the brush at on halfway with a light touch, or you could just go all the way with it, and just like what I was doing. So this is how the morph brush will work. So I use morph target all the time, especially when I'm about to make some drastic changes to a model, and I'm not sure if I'm going to like how it will work, how it will look, and how the result. So for that purpose, I just store a morph target and then always return to where it was before if I don't like the changes. So morph target from here or morph brush, BMO, I use most of the time to get this kind of result. I hope uh, you will like this morph and morph brush and you will use in your, uh, your projects uh, most of the time and take uh, advantage out of it. If you have enjoyed my video, please click on the like button and I will be uploading new lessons, tutorials, live sessions and full courses along with other useful videos. So don't forget to click on the bell icon so you can get all the notifications. I will highly appreciate if you all will shout out to my channel if you have a social media account on your social media account, which will help me to get more subscribers and this will motivate me to create more content for you all. So guys, uh, thanks a lot for your support and please continue supporting me and take care of yourself till we meet for the next lesson.